you're looking at the hinge of our back door and it's an old house parts of it date back to the 20s and uh, the door frame is uh, sagging a little bit and that's why you see this uh, stack of uh, washers here last summer I modified uh, this part of the hinge because it was pinching on the inside here and to make that uh, job perfect or better I also want to replace this stack of washers by something that's a bit wider because the hinge here is uh, starting to wear down a bit and I think this pin in here is also wearing and that's why the uh, door was starting to pinch over here I also want the uh, door a little bit higher because in the winter when it's wet the wood in here will expand a little and the uh, door might start rubbing on the uh, bottom again although it did come up a couple of millimeters on the other side uh, by the way this is my shoddy paintwork um, if it bothers you you're probably watching the wrong channel hmm. it might get hard to uh, measure that but I believe the uh, barn doors use the same hinges I should be able to take my measurement there I moved to the uh, blue cargo lathe because this one has a chuck with a throat that is big enough for this stock material unfortunately it's a bit bell mouthed so it isn't uh, running 100% through but it should be good enough good enough for a couple of uh, spacers I'm using the same uh, tool bit as I was using uh, at the start of the project better tighten this up I'll take a very light skim cut because there is quite a bit of stick out That's good. Um, next, I'm going to uh, drill this hole uh, up to 15 millimeters and then I will uh, exile it off. Of course, not by myself. I have a machine for that. A little bit of uh, lubrication. Did you guys by any uh, chance see how wrongly I installed that uh, double lobed uh, tool post clamp? That was kind of stupid. Let's uh, switch to a drill bit. Um, two and a half. Three centimeters deep. The uh, spacers that I need are actually uh, thicker than I uh, thought they would be. It's pretty difficult to drill. Try a bit more speed. A little bit more. Should do it. Drilling is uh, getting easier. Well, that definitely has to be enough. Um, next, 10 millimeters, then 15. 
a little bit slower. That might be a good way to get yourself hurt. Don't do as I do. I'm at the bottom of the hole. Now let me get a uh, 15 millimeter taper drill bit. Whew. I almost fucked that up. Okay, here we go again. That's 400 RPM, 350 RPM, might be a bit slow. Well at least it's not vibrating as much as the 16mm uh, drill bit did. On the other way. And I'm at the bottom of the hole. No point to go any deeper. Let's take this to the hacksaw and uh, cut off a centimeter this fence has a lot of wear in it it tips uh, forward when tightening up ah, that's pretty good Alright, I'm going for a T now. I'm setting the uh, down feet a little bit slower. Then I got a uh, better chance at a straight cut. T down! Let's go back to the lathe. This hole needs to be a little bit deeper. It's pretty hard to uh, Turn the handle on the tail stuck. It's cutting hardly anything at all. Well, let's uh, stop now. This is taking too long. Let's clean this up so it can. Uh, sit nice and flush against my uh, new backstop well that feels good enough for a spacer let's hack off another piece
I was hoping for a couple of uh, donuts, but I guess uh, the hole wasn't deep enough. Well, at least now the uh, stock material is uh, undamaged on the side. Although the scrap yard has uh, a whole pile of uh, this stuff and all about a meter long, five euros. I hear in the UK uh, you can't even get onto the scrap yard anymore because of uh, health and safety. There are such uh, sissies over there. I should have uh, cleaned up the corner on the lathe with a file, but I forgot. I don't want to take off uh, a lot of material, or any material. I just uh, want to get rid of uh, sharp edges, so it will sit better in the chart. Let's start with this failed donut, and I just dropped it on the floor. Lucky for me it uh, didn't damage this uh, flat side. A little light tap with a nylon hammer before I really tighten up the chuck. So. Now let's phase off this side before I finish drilling that hole. Um, still the uh, same insert and uh, it's pretty good considering my limited uh, experience with uh, inserts. Need more speed. Finish isn't perfect, and I like to clean up the side a little bit. To make sure the uh, drill is uh, going to start in the, in the center. I'm already through. That was easy. Here comes the 10 uh, millimeter drill. And I will finish this with the uh, boring bar, just for fun. Time to set up a boring bar. This is the... Uh, 12 millimeter boring bar holder that I made a couple of weeks ago but uh, this is uh, way too big for that 10 millimeter hole I drilled now I could uh, drill it out to 12 millimeters and it might just fit but I got another idea This here is a modified uh, Dixon tool post holder for my Chinese lathe and it has a 6mm boring bar and this fits without uh, any problem although it is uh, sitting way too low at the moment
tight and well above center. Now a while ago I got a comment from uh, Dave from the uh, user WL or UL and then a couple of numbers. He really should uh, change his channel name to something that's uh, easier to remember like uh, the big ass trepanning guy. Anyway he said that uh, these little boring bars you should, you should uh, sit them well above center height and this looks like uh, well above center height we'll see if he is uh, right doesn't hurt to try at the moment the uh, boring bar is set up with one of these uh, blue nano inserts that uh, so far have kind of failed to impress me so I bought a box of the uh, cheapest CCMT inserts I could find on eBay and this is a good time to try them out installed I think these are the same as those uh, DCMT inserts that I used a while back and uh, tested against the uh, blue nano insert of course this is a is a different form factor but I hope they uh, work just as well and it gives me another uh, thing to look at when I play with my uh, microscope I reduced the uh, stick out here it's probably still too long but uh, that's for artistic reason it helps with the uh, camera angle alright let's clamp this down piece of brass to uh, protect the uh, tool holder it's going to be close up here but I think it should work from where I am standing I can hardly see anything the uh, clamp and my beautiful metric thumb screw and also the uh, tool holder thumb screw they're all in my way but I should be able to follow the action on my uh, camera screen so here we go Let's take a bigger cut. It seems to do okay. I'm feeding in quicker this time. It goes uh, pretty good. Let's take a significantly bigger cut. If it uh, digs in, the donut might come flying up. Some kind of ring in there. I'll uh, take a measurement and then uh, bore this out to 15.5. I got a feeling that uh, I need to go to 16, but the hinge. Uh, might have some wear. Well, I'm not going to film any more of this uh, boring stuff. Now I'm going to install the other donut and then uh, pour it out without uh, changing the uh, position of the uh, cross light. After that I will do a facing cut. This does make it hard to hit with the uh, nail on hammer. Well, sometimes you just got to hope for the best.
Besides, I'm well hidden behind the whole uh, uh, tool clamp construction. I'm happy how that uh, worked out. Setting the uh, boring bar way above center height seems to work fine. And this is going to be the last job for that brand new insert I installed uh, at the beginning of this project two videos ago. That uh, tool post bolt might be a little bit in the way. That's a significant chip. Better put on my safety glasses. It is still cutting fine. And that's it. I'm done. should be here and uh, hopefully it will be dry and then we can uh, take out the door and uh, install these uh, spacers it's weekend and I just lifted the door out or we just lifted the door out I should say my donut almost fits I test it with some calipers and, and it's maybe one or two tenths too small. I'll take out this stack of shims so I can measure the height. They're pretty tight fitting. I think these were ground to size. This is definitely smaller near the bottom. I'll clean up this pin with a uh, piece of emery cloth and then uh, remove the shims. Well, I uh, didn't shoot any more video, but uh, the job is done. We had to take out the door three times to adjust the uh, thickness of the washers. Um, I also had to uh, grind a bit of the washer. The back of the washer was sitting on a weld that uh, was on the hinge. Now the washer can no longer spin round, but uh, that shouldn't be a problem. Um, at the moment the door is resting on both hinges, before it was uh, only resting on the uh, lower hinge. It still sits a bit high, but I expect it will come down a bit once things uh, start to wear in. I just hope the door won't expand too much this winter, then it might get stuck on the uh, top side. But overall I'm pretty happy with the result for now. It did take an awfully long time, but it was the first time I did some home improvement using the uh, metal lathe. But it turns out I didn't have to make a backstop for this. Because of the thickness of the spacers, I could just have used the uh, outside jaws of the chuck. But I'm sure the uh, backstop will be useful for some other uh, jobs in the future. Well, I'm going to uh, have a look at the inserts I used in the uh, last three videos. I will shoot some video, but uh, that will be uploaded in a separate video because this one is already way too long for YouTube. Well, that's it for me, and uh, I will be back next week. Uh, so, bye for now.